I don't always design a toy train on Inventor, but when I do, I boil her up. Today we'll be doing the train body, so we're going to start with a part. Um, I do want to point out that <clears throat> there are two pictures on it. The first picture is looking at this view with a note that all holes are drilled with a point angles. And then if you scroll down, you'll see a helpful video of the back view that also says, note, round all edges um, with the radius 0.1 except for drilled holes. So we've got to remember that when we're finished. So we're going to start with this view right here. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to simply start a line. And I'm going to go over 5.5. Double click to zoom out. Slide it over a little bit more. I'm going to go up like four. I'm going to go over one to the left. I'm going to bring this down quite a bit. Um, let's bring it down three. And then. We'll just kind of line it up, and if you slow down, there'll be some dotted lines. All right. <clears throat> One thing I want to do is delete that. And I do want this height to be... Zero point eight seven five. And that should be good. So let's finish that. Zoom out and then extrude that. I'm going to push it away. And I'm gonna, extrusion is going to be 2. Sorry, I screwed up. That didn't take long. I knew that didn't look right. So we're going to make that 1.75. That looks better. All right. Let's click on this surface right here and create a new sketch. I'm going to project the geometry on it and create a circle on here. Um, I'm going to avoid any dotted lines that show up. So I'm going to make that. <clears throat> the radius says it's 0.75, but we're measuring our diameter, so I need to times that by 2. I'm going to dimension that. Uh, we want it right in the middle, and so that would make it 1. And I want to project my bottom line because we know the height from here to the center point is 1.375. We're going to finish that sketch and extrude it. Sometimes it's tough to grab. And I'm going to go to next. Whoop, just kidding. I'm going to go to, and then I'm going to click on this front surface right here and click OK. And we've got um, the front of it. All right, next thing I'm going to do is the wheels on the side. So I'm going to create a new sketch and project my geometry on that bottom part. And I'm going to take two points. I'm just going to click them and click them and avoid any dotted lines. All right, let's work on the back one. So from the bottom, it needs to be 0.5. And from the back end, it needs to be 1. All right, I'm going to take a constraint. I'm going to take my horizontal constraint. Click here and the other point. That'll line it up. And now we want to click the point in the back of the line. And we want that to be 4.5. Finish the sketch. Create holes. In those holes, we want them to be pointed. We want them to be 
um, tapped and we want them to be quarter inch 20 UNC we also want them to be 0.875 deep we want the threads to be the same and click OK so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mirror those points so I'm going to create a midplane click there flip it around and go back select the mirror button click that and the mirror plane and click OK I'm going to right click on that work plane and just turn the visibility off alright right now I'm going to save my work call this train train block and in my initials and I'll be back